Hi kids, welcome to Math Talks, where learning mathematics is made fun and easy with teacher Rosalyn. In this video lesson, you're expected to read and measure temperature using thermometer, alcohol and our digital and degree Celsius, and solve routine and non-routine problems involving temperature in real life situations. Make sure to make yourself ready and comfortable that you are in a well-ventilated and well-lighted place conducive to learning. And I hope that your self-learning modules and writing materials are already with you so that we can start our lesson right now. Kids, are you ready? If yes, that's great. Come on, let's start. In the what tiny part of your module, Choose in a circle the appropriate temperature of the following. Again, choose and encircle the appropriate temperature of the following. Number one, normal body temperature. Is that 10 degrees Celsius or 37 degrees Celsius? If your answer is 37 degrees Celsius, you're right. Number two, temperature in Baguio. Is it 13 degrees Celsius or 40 degrees Celsius? If you encircle 13 degrees Celsius, correct. Number three, temperature in an air conditioned room. Is it 17 degrees Celsius? Or 30 degrees Celsius. If your answer is 17 degrees Celsius, that's awesome! Number 4. Temperature of a newly cooked soup. Is it 50 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Celsius? If your answer is 95 degrees Celsius, that's great! And number 5, temperature of an ice cube. Is it 0 degrees Celsius or 15 degrees Celsius? If your answer is 0 degrees Celsius, that's perfect! Now, Let's proceed to the what's in part of your module. Did you ever have a fever? What do your parents do when you are sick? Did they check your temperature? If yes, what reading in the thermometer indicates that you are sick? Kindly write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Now, let's proceed to what's new. Where is the coldest place you've ever been? How about the hottest place? Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. What is temperature and how can it be measured? Temperature is a degree of hotness or coldness measured by an instrument called thermometer. If the temperature reading in the thermometer is low, then it is colder. If it is higher temperature, then it is hotter. There are several types of thermometer that can be used in various objects. In the early times, mercury and alcohol are used in the thermometer because they expand when heated. However, due to its harmful effect to the body, and the environment, mercury was now prohibited to be used in thermometer. Thus, the digital thermometer is now commonly used among households and hospitals. If you are using digital thermometer, the numerical value is easier to read. But for alcohol and room thermometer, it requires you to read the exact lines in the scale. Higher places such as Baguio City and Tagaytay City are most likely to be colder than lower places. 
There are several units of measurement existing for temperature, but the most common units are degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. Celsius scale is used for most common temperature measurement in most part of the world. The water boils at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit and freezes at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The Celsius scale is used in the metric system while the Fahrenheit scale is used in the English system. Now let's consider these following examples. Example number one, read the temperature indicated in the following thermometer. Number one, what is the temperature reading in this thermometer? If your answer is 17.5 degrees Celsius, you're correct. And number two. If 38 degrees Celsius is your answer, then you're right. Number three. What is the temperature reading shown in the thermometer? If you answer 4 degrees Celsius, that's correct. And number 4, what's the reading in this thermometer? You are right if you answer 44 degrees Celsius. Well done kids for participating in this activity. And now, let's have example 2. Mr. Smith is a tourist in our country. He went to Tugigarao City, Cagayan. He experienced extreme weather in different countries and he wants to know the hottest temperature in Tugigarao. In May 11, 1969, the hottest temperature of 42.2 degrees Celsius was recorded. How do you convert 42.2 degrees Celsius in degrees Fahrenheit? Take note that Mr. Smith is a tourist in our country. It means that he is not from our country and he's not born in our country. So he's not so familiar with the temperature in degrees Celsius because in their place, they are not using degree Celsius but instead degree Fahrenheit. Now let's help Mr. Smith to understand 42.2 degrees Celsius in degree Fahrenheit. Let's help him convert from degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. To convert degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit, we can use either of the two formulas. Let's have degree F equals 9 over 5 degree C plus 32. Or we can use degree F equals degree C times 1.8 plus 32. I'll be using the formula degree Fahrenheit equals degree Celsius times 1.8 plus 32. Let's have the solution. Degree Fahrenheit equals substitute the given temperature which is 42.2 degree Celsius times 1.8 plus 32. Then multiply 42.2 times 1.8 and that is equal to 75.96 plus 32. Then add 75.96 plus 32. That is equal to 107.96 degree Fahrenheit. Therefore, the hottest temperature recorded in Tugigara City is 42.2 degree Celsius, which is equivalent to 107.96 degree Fahrenheit. Now let's have example number three. Convert 98.6 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. The formula in converting degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius is degree Celsius equals 5 over 9 times degree Fahrenheit minus 32. Using the formula, let's have a solution. 
in this solution, Janda's rule is applied where the numbers or operations inside the grouping symbols will be solved first. So, degree C equals substitute the value of degree Fahrenheit, which is 98.6 minus 32 times 5 divided by 9. So, let's solve first 98.6 minus 32, that is equal to 66.6 times 5 divided by 9. 66.6 .6 times 5 equals 333 divided by 9 is equal to 37. Therefore, 98.6 degree Fahrenheit is equal to 37 degree Celsius. How do you measure temperature using a thermometer? If you are using alcohol or room thermometer, read the exact lines in the scale. And if you are using digital thermometer, read the number that appears on the thermometer. How do you convert Fahrenheit to Celsius and vice versa? To convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, use the formula degree Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 degree Celsius plus 32. Or, degree Fahrenheit equals degree Celsius times 1.8 plus 32. To convert degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius, use the formula degree Celsius equals 5 over 9 times degree Fahrenheit minus 32. Now, let's answer activity A. Copy the items in your notebook or in a separate sheet of paper. Then, encircle the most appropriate temperature for the following objects. Number 1. Ice cream. Is it 2 degrees Celsius or 13 degrees Celsius? Number 2. Frozen meat. Is it 0 degrees Celsius or 10 degrees Celsius? Number 3. Steamed rice. Is it 30 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Celsius? Number 4. Temperature in a summer day. 34 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Celsius? And number 5, hot coffee, 12 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Celsius. Now, let's check if your answers are correct. Number 1, ice cream is 2 degrees Celsius. Number 2, frozen meat is 0 degrees Celsius. Number 3, steamed rice, 60 degrees Celsius. Number 4, Temperature in a summer day, 34 degrees Celsius. And last number, number 5, hot coffee, 80 degrees Celsius. Well done kids for answering activity A. Now let's proceed to activity B. Convert the following temperature from degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit or from degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. Now let us check your answers. Number 1. Convert 10 degrees Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. Using the formula degree Fahrenheit equals degree Celsius times 1.8 plus 32. Substitute the value of degree Celsius which is 10 times 1.8 plus 32. 10 times 1.8 equals 18 plus 32 degree Fahrenheit equals 50. So, 10 degrees Celsius is equal to 50 degree Fahrenheit. Number 2, let's convert 60 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. Using the formula, degree Celsius equals 5 over 9 times degree Fahrenheit minus 32. So, applying the Jemdas rule in solving where the operation or numbers inside the parentheses or grouping symbols will be solved first. So, degree C equals 60, which is the given value of degree Fahrenheit, minus 32 times 5 divided by 9. So, let's subtract first 60 minus 32. That is equal to 28 times 5 divided by 9. Multiply 28 times 5, which is equal to 140, divided by 9. 
140 divided by 9 equals 15.56. So, 60 degree Fahrenheit is equal to 15.56 degrees Celsius. I guess you're now ready to answer the assessment part of your module. Copy the following illustrations in your notebook or in a separate piece of paper. Give the reading of the thermometer in degree Celsius or degree Fahrenheit, then show the temperature in the thermometer you have drawn. Number 1. 5 degrees Celsius below the boiling point of water. Number 2. 15 degrees Fahrenheit below freezing point of water. Number 3. 3 degrees Celsius higher than normal body temperature. Number 4. 7 degrees Fahrenheit lower than the normal body temperature. And number 5. Double the normal body temperature. Assessment B. Analyze and solve the following problems. Write your solutions and final answers in a separate sheet of paper. Good job, kids. I hope you learned something in this video lesson. Stay safe and God bless.